Hey everyone, welcome back to another Batman reaction video. We are on episode four, which according to HBO Max is Heart of Ice. So that's what I'm watching today. I'm not sure if it's the correct order according to production or release, but that's what we're watching today. And that's what I'm going to react to. Last time when I said that it was Heart of Ice, lots of people got very excited. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it because I feel like this is going to be a good one. Um, I'm predicting Dr. Freeze. Is that his name? I don't know much about the villains, but that's my prediction. Hopefully he actually is called Dr. Freeze. Anyways, let's get started. I hope you're having a good day. Thank you to my patrons who are so nice. Da, 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 da. Oh, look at the snowflakes. Ooh. Rest well, my love. The monster who took you from me will soon learn that revenge is a dish. Best, Best served, served cold. cold. In the midst of the hottest August on record, wielding what witnesses called a freezing gun. This is what Caleb was talking about in Winter Soldier. A freezing gun. I don't know what this person has against Goth Corp. But Don't like him already. Looked upon ourselves as the people company. Mm. If this man has a problem, we're willing to listen. <laughs> oh God, the customer is always right. This is Summer Gleason for Gotham. Oh my God, her name is Summer. That's funny. Are you taking pictures? Taking up video games. <laughs> Me and Alfred are the same. Bind into a massive weapon able to generate intense cold. Oh no. Couldn't that help with really hot temperatures? Like I feel like that could help the homeless and people who don't have air conditioning. Just a little bit of, of snow. Like a general weather air conditioning for outside. Is that Batman's car? Or Mr. Freeze? I think I called him Dr. Freeze at the beginning. Shit. Oh, wait, so that's Batman's car. OK, I was confused because it was blue. The music sounds winter like snow flurries. That's so sweet. So thoughtful. Let it go. Let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Are you done? Why is he talking like that, though? Oh my god, love that move. It's like Freeze. a little break dance. Oh. That's Mr. Freeze to you. Really? Really, Batman? You couldn't think of anything else to say? <laughs> you set him up for that. Since you ally yourself with my enemies, you leave me no choice. <gasps> Uh-oh. Ah, Johnny! Johnny! I think he loved Johnny. Okay, so I think it's just gonna freeze them. I don't think it'll like break their bodies. But he's one of us. Yeah. Then perhaps you'd like to share his fate. <gasps> That's don't sad. Me, Why? That's so sad. I just got nothing on Batman. Batman is Anna in this situation or Olaf. I'm going to go with Olaf. Oh my God, an escalator in there? Really? Wait, what? I must say you're showing a surprising amount of compassion for that man, considering he would surely have left you to die in his place. And that's the thing with Batman. He's not going to leave someone behind who's helpless. He's got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. Oh, you'd think there'd be one for tissues. Oh. Thanks. Do you have a cold? <gasps> Mr. Freeze gave Batman a cold. Okay. So that He's is that through. hot Bob water. Did the trick. Okay. <laughs> you could use a hot bath yourself. I can't worry about a cold now. Oh. <laughs> Here's your mask, Bruce. Just kidding. But still, that's the polite thing to do is to wear your mask. There's only one man who'd hate Goth Corp that much. If you were alive. <gasps> who? Oh. One of our scientists. We lost him. <coughs> oh. What was he doing? Wasting company I like his plants. money. My money. Know what I mean? Sir, no. The humanitarian 
committee is here. I don't trust you. Compassion, charity. Where were those pretty words when she needed to hear them? So she must have died somehow. At least he gives them cute little coats. Knocked out gas, chicken soup. The only way to fight a cold. That is so cute. That is so cute, Alfred. You okay? I'm fine. Oh my God. So everyone gets a cold around this ice. Oh my God. Wait, is that Bruce? <laughs> he tricked me. He freaking tricked me. Okay, so that was his wife. My name is Dr. Victor Freeze. <gasps> oh, it is Dr. Freeze. I ordered funding suspended weeks ago. Oh. I'm already three million in day equipment. <gasps> Mine. I have every legal right to use it or not use it as I see fit. Oh my God. <gasps> oh, stay away from her. Murder. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, he freaking kicked him. <gasps> so I wonder if that cryogenic chamber is what's on his head. That was sad. I feel like a lot of Batman villains are really sad origin stories. I saw what happened to your wife. I'm sorry. Oh, compassion. So I wonder if Batman's cold is just symbolic or if it actually has something to do with his powers. Oh my God. Damn. Good job, dude. Keys? The ballet guy is really trying to keep doing his job. I kind of like how in Gotham, everyone just accepts the weird looking people. Like, look at his outfit. It's true for New York City. Like, I went home from theater school with, like, fake blood on me and teased hair on the subway. And no one blinked an eye. <laughs> his poor cold. Oh. To present this well deserved award to. Haha. <laughs> that guy's definitely very self centered. Like the way he was like, it's my equipment, mine. When he could have shown compassion to just be like, let her go. You know, I'm so sorry about your wife, but let her go. And that's what Batman did. No. No. Thank you. Oh my God. In my nightmares, I see my Nora behind the glass, begging to me with frozen eyes. How I've longed to see that look frozen on you. Alfred's soup. Oh, no, wait. I think that might be the hot chemical water. I don't know. What was that stuff? Soup. The only way to fight a cold. <laughs> That's so cute. No justice. Ooh. Okay, Good nice. Night, humanitarian. Ooh. I wish I could say that to some humanitarians on Earth. Oh, sad, guys. I failed you. No. To say it, I cannot. And pray you hear me somehow, some place, some place where a warm hand waits for my. Oh, he's watching. He literally turned back. Oh my god. <sighs> Y'all, I feel like that was so sweet and sad. I don't know. I didn't expect this cartoon to give me so many feelings, but it looks like it is. It's hard because rightfully so, a lot of Batman villains are, they have really tragic backstories and they have really tragic pasts. And in some scenarios, it kind of makes sense what they're doing. And I feel like there is a fine line between Batman and these villains because if you think about it Batman does dress up he has he's kind of like dealing with his trauma 
uh, of his parents death in a way that is similar to the villains, but he has this code where he doesn't kill anyone. And like, he does try to stick to the code to do good and be good, but he is like giving himself up in servitude to the city and stuff. And I wish Bruce would put himself first, but you know, I don't know. Uh, I just thought it's, I don't want anyone to be like, oh, you're sympathizing with this villain, but I do. So sometimes I really do. A lot of them were like bullied and ostracized and had just ridiculous, crazy family deaths. And even though I'm scared of them, like Killer Croc, and even though, you know, sometimes they make me laugh like Joker, or sometimes I have a crush on them like Poison Ivy they still are human in a way and they're broken and that's what i saw and what i felt in this episode and it got to me as well because who's to say how i would act if caleb died like that's my husband that's my life partner i don't know what i would do i would be completely unhinged so it's really hard I feel like I can't judge, just empathize with these characters. And, you know, it, it was very sweet, that last shot of Batman looking at him and then even doing like a double take and going to leave, but then turning back and seeing him because you can tell he does have compassion, the compassion that Mr. Freeze was saying didn't exist. And it didn't exist with that one guy, the humanitarian, I forgot his name already. So that shot is going to stick with me. Very, very powerful. And then also the snow globe. I love snow globes. I love snow. So I feel like Mr. Freeze is going to have a special spot in my heart. And if there are any movies or other shows that deal with him, I would love to know your recommendations because that got me. <laughs> that really made me feel something. It was so sweet and sad. Anyways, before I start crying, um, hope you all have good days and nights and I will see you for episode five. I love you. Bye. Oh, also there are unedited watch alongs on Patreon. If you're interested, link below $5 a month and you get access to, you know, all the watch longs. So it can be that we are watching cartoons together and also the Marvel movies. So yeah, that's there. Okay. Love you. Bye.